I don't feel like I fuck up immediately. Like, where, what did I do that had you immediately saying, ah, bro, fuck this nigga's video, bro. I don't want, I don't give a fuck about his content. I don't want to hear none of this shit this nigga's yapping about, bro. Oh, my bad, bro. I thought I was just, you know what I'm saying, making niggas laugh and have a good time. <laughs> it's been a minute. I don't even know if my. It's not, I don't think. How have y'all been? I genuinely hope that y'all have been absolutely excellent. And I know that you guys have waited for a yap session for a minute. The real people that actually watch this channel. Because 90% of these niggas are bots. And this one is a little bit special. I didn't really have a real 150 like subscriber. Like, ah, y'all, we fucking did it. So today we're cracking open a cup water maybe two who knows how many videos i i you know record today and i want to you know have a yap session with you guys the videos have been doing incredible and honestly bro i don't even know where it's gonna go next i have a whole bunch of ideas bro i want to do like what, what i call like a genuine um what is it called a genuine infraction that's what i'm gonna call it or i'm gonna call it something similar to that who the fuck knows and I'm gonna pretty much like be reviewing like albums and shit, right? And these these albums are are gonna be the like albums that I've genuinely listened to like hundreds of times. No, okay, not hundreds of times, at least a dozen times. And I give you guys real reactions and how I feel about the whole album in itself. Second thing, I don't really do TikTok like that, um, but I may I may start doing them some little rants here and there. YouTube Shorts doesn't doesn't do anything for me, honestly. I just take the clips that people be sending me and I be like, all right, man, like, fuck it, put it in there too. Um, but yeah, I've genuinely enjoyed making content. It's some days where I'm like, bro, I don't even know what video I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna make. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just have to get the fuck up and make something though. I wake up, bro. It's hot as fuck in my room because I don't got no like AC that really works. That shit, the, the, the um vents barely open sometimes. So I wake up, I'm hot as shit, and I'm like. I gotta make some video or some bullshit, bro, because I gotta get the fuck up out of here, bro. Not because I want to leave, like, this area necessarily, but, bro, being big at this, like, time of my life would be absolutely incredible, bro. And, like, I want to see all my homies do great things. And if I'm the homie that allows them and gives that them that, like, pathway to do great things, bro, like, whether it's, like, by supporting them, by, like, promoting them, or, like, supporting them financially, anything, bro, I want to see the homies win, bro. That's always going to be the goal. I don't give a fuck what anyone else says. It's always going to be the goal. I also want to do more, like live reactions but y'all don't be coming to the live stream bro okay that's cap it was one really good live stream that happened like a while ago and i was doing i was playing like a couple games with my friends and shit and a, a, a fair amount of people like slid through i was like oh like this is starting to be a, like a real community of shit and that's what i love bro i always want to make a community if i make money off of this thing it'd be incredible it'd be great but like i made a little bit of money from like people just being like nice and shit and just being like yo like i support the content Here's like a fiver. Here's like a tenner. But I wanna I do wanna start getting paid for this joint, but I'm never gonna like switch up once I do. I'ma still be the same nigga in his room making videos and spitting what he feels as though it's true. Um I will say though, the hate comments I will never care about. Like genuinely, because if anything, bro, I find them funny and they push the they push the video to more people. And the more people that actually find the videos and don't like them and comment that they don't like it, pushes it to more people. I mean, it's all going to be great for me in the end. So, and I never take these, like, hate comments to heart. What I'm saying is, also leave whatever you feel as though, like, bro, you can say whatever you want in the comment section that's not OD or offensive to, like, a mass amount of people. And, bro, it's like, I'll, I'll at least read it. I don't read every comment because there was a few times where I was genuinely just forgetting that, like, comments existed. And I was just posting, 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 posting. But I do find, like, a lot of those comments to be intriguing because it, it at least lets me know, like, where my base is and everything. And, like, who, who who's watching my videos in the first place? You know what I'm saying? Another thing, though, like, retention rate is insane, bro. Like, 
I don't know what the fuck niggas other niggas stats look like, but I've heard that it's like similar where it's like always like in like the 3% max because like niggas would just click on a video and just like immediately click off. And I do that occasionally, but like I don't feel like I fuck up immediately. Like where what did I do that had you immediately saying, "Ah, bro, fuck this nigga's video, bro. I don't want I don't give a fuck about his content. I don't want to hear none of this shit this nigga's yapping about, bro." Oh my bad, bro. I thought I was just, you know what I'm saying, making niggas laugh and have a good time. I guess not though for real. But all in all, I still enjoy it though. And like I said with the live streams, want to do more of those. I want to integrate more of my like friends into like the content I make. Um Gimme Soul, my homie, my brother, like he's pushed me along this journey for a solid minute and his music bro insane incredible and i want to like everybody that makes music around me bro i want to keep pushing them bro and i make music too but i like doing like the two things kind of separate if that makes sense because it allows me to like take a rest from things that i like when i need to when i get tired of making youtube videos i make music when i get tired of making music i make youtube videos and that's like what pushed me along this like crazy path of youtube anyway because after releasing Rich, I was like, I feel like not enough people are like talking about real, like, are like really breaking down music and still having entertainment behind it. I feel like everyone's just like a reactionary like content page and they just like say, oh bro, this person's up next or oh bro, this person is horrible. That's all the fuck we get in that video. And I want to do more than that, bro. I've always wanted to do more than that. I always want to like really break down like the intricacies of a song and everything but at times it also takes too much time bro remember i wake up and i make these videos sometimes when i wake up and i make these videos i'm not trying to be sitting here for like 40 minutes just straight yapping about like one specific moment in a song when no one's even gonna see that point bro because like 90 percent of the niggas drop off in the first part of the video niggas don't even get to like the second yap session bro niggas get to the first yap session leave their comment and then leave which i mean what can you say? Like, at what point? You know what I'm saying? But, um, it's interesting. It's definitely interesting. Um, I will say right now where I'm working out and everything, and I feel like incredible. This is summertime, bro. Like, gotta get the grind in. I got a new microphone. Um, I don't even know if people can, like, tell the difference for real. If so, great. If not, it'd be like that. I gotta update my Twitter. There's so many things I gotta do, bro. But this is this is a yap session, so it doesn't matter, honestly. It's it's really just to speak to the masses, make sure everybody knows, bro, that I'm I'm here, bro, and I'm here to stay, bro. I'm gonna be eating, bro. I'm gonna be doing straight, absolutely ballistic things, bro. I'm gonna be bouncing off walls. I'm not, bro. That leave that shit to all the niggas that got energy, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I don't got the type of energy or dedication to be bouncing off walls or shit. And you niggas definitely not gonna have me twerking. I ain't gonna lie. All them other niggas that, that like have crazy clips, bro. That shit hilarious, but that's not gonna be me. Simply put, that's not gonna be me like that. I'll have some I'll have some high energy, some good vibes, some crazy, you know what I'm saying? Dupa dee dot. Point being, I'ma be like doing some old things, but you're not gonna catch me having like clips like that. Y'all can y'all are definitely gonna have clips of me saying some things that I should probably get canceled for. Probably some things that like shouldn't be said even if they're not cancelable just like generally bad jokes to be making horrible analogies metaphors that don't make sense but that's what y'all are here for right maybe my my next yap session won't be about the channel because every time i have a yap session it's about the channel but it's not on purpose it's just like whatever is prominent in my mind and i just go to like that thing and we, we just talk about Whatever, whatever, whatever's on Swank Bum's mind. What's on my mind right now? Ian is a cultural vulture, bro. A cultural vulture. He's a cultural vulture for sure, bro. Um, one of my friends said that they actually like a Ian song got added to their like liked songs randomly, and he never did. I don't know if that's like, I don't know if it just happened and it was like a whole accident. And, like maybe he just wasn't locked in on that moment, and not like blame him, but more so like. I don't know point being it's a lot of like people dipping into the culture which i mean like it's it's free it's something that anyone can get into um but i feel as though we should be more cognizant of who is 
and it's like aware bro but yeah that's that's my that's my not even my next it's gonna happen right now if you follow the shade room unsubscribe unsubscribe right now Th those are those are niggas that i will never co-sign like being a part of i ain't gonna lie whenever i get big if niggas start posting me bro the first comment is gonna be fuck y'all that's gonna be the very first comment in every one of them type of posts bro any post that has my face and then like those like big bold letters and some like tagline to get niggas to click bro i'm gonna say fuck y'all and then i'm gonna kindly ask for it to be taken down if i really don't fuck with it like that if not and i'll just sue because i mean like i just don't want that energy attached to me bro i feel as though the shade room um um dom was it dom raps or something something like that dom is live that one isn't as bad rap house tv is horrid bro um say cheese is also like just expeditionally poot like like booty putrid disgusting um like half of a rat's ass a nastiness bro like something i don't want to be involved with or like connected to honestly mm. i'm trying to think about uh any other of those keemstar hate that person bro hate that whole like sphere of like we report on news and we just like say whatever we feel as though and like try to implement it as fact fuck them especially because they be in a lot of culture that isn't even theirs in the first place bro i would care a lot more if keem started talking about like potato salad and how he felt about it and what his recipe was than what us black people are doing bro that's not your lane that's not your energy get out of it is that is that is that crazy to say get out of the lane that you're not really in bro for real I don't think it is. I got a uh, mixtape coming up. Yeah. Whoa, a mixtape? I thought we were civilized over here just releasing albums? No. Nobody. We don't do any of that civilized shit no more. It's like, nah. Um, but no. I'm considering it a mixtape. It's, it's kind of like an EP, more so. Um, and it's, it's going to be just freestyles. It's gonna be like every time it's gonna be me in my car probably elevated not even probably it's gonna be me in my car elevated making songs that i feel as though would sound nice they are probably not gonna have the craziest bars but okay not even the craziest bars i'm saying the message overall is gonna be having fun enjoying yourself i'm not gonna be like really dissecting how how racial you know intricacy and, and all that bro it's not gonna be in, it's not gonna be in this project okay it'll be, in, it'll be in the next one don't worry it's still coming and everything you know conscious swing bum is a part of swing bum you know what i'm saying bro um one day someone's gonna ask me to explain my name and i, I have like 70 hundred different explanations for it but that doesn't mean you guys are getting to get it right now if you've been around me you already know it you know what i'm saying and this is a, this is a video for the for the audience the app sessions are never videos to get an audience they're the videos or my audience, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna lie, I didn't like that joint at first. That joint kinda good. Like, it just had to grow on me. Um Bread. That's what I want right now. I ain't gonna lie. I was I wasn't gonna talk about bread, but I feel like okay, bread is incredible. Let's get that out the way. Bread is one of the best things that humans have ever made. And genuinely, we need more people just making straight bread. Like, nothing, not, no, like, no, no over the top, just good crafted bread. Where am I going with this? Garlic bread is incredible. <laughs> All right. I think that's about it for uh, the Yap session. Um, If you guys have any other. Um, topics y'all want me to talk about let me know I don't think I have even one more topic nah keep having a good time keep having a good day make sure y'all support leave a comment push this video to others I said it's about my audience but like send this video to any of your friends bro I love all y'all I'll see you bums later